Across the world, the refining landscape is transforming. As nations move towards cleaner energy and stricter carbon goals, several traditional refineries in the world are facing challenges of aging infrastructure, high costs, and shrinking margins. Over 101 of the world's 420 refineries, representing nearly 18.4 million barrels per day, about 20% of global capacity, are at risk of closure within the next 7 to 10 years. 20% refining capacity goes down. This means that uh, refining would no, but the fact of the matter is, whilst 21% of global capacity is being reduced, by, by the way, that's not the only one. Some of those teapot refineries will also go, so the figure is much higher. But the good news is that you've got India. In just a decade, our refining capacity has grown from 215 million tons per annum in 2014 to over 258 million tons per annum today, making India the fourth largest refining base in the world. This capacity is set to reach 310 million tons per annum by 2028. India now exports refined products to over 50 countries, worth 45 billion US dollars, ranking among the top seven global exporters with the ambition to enter the top three. We source crude from 40 plus nations, ensuring one of the most diversified and resilient energy portfolios globally. This strength is backed by rising domestic demand. India is the world's third largest oil consumer, set to drive one-third of global oil demand growth over the next two decades. And our refineries are not just growing, they are evolving, integrating with petrochemicals, adding biofuel blending, and green hydrogen co-processing, to produce cleaner, globally compliant fuels. This is the vision of Make in India, Make for the World, to build world-class capacity with Indian talent and technology, and supply cleaner fuels, petrochemicals, and green energy to the world. India is turning refining into a strategic export engine for Avixith Bharat, under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji.